From helping stranded dolphins, sea turtles, and other marine life to teaching students about endangered species and habitat conservation, our next guests work for those that don't have a voice, our animals. Suzanne Thurman is the executive director of the Marine Education Research and Rehabilitation Institute in Nassau, Nassau or MER. And Claudia Alessi is MER's longest serving volunteer. Thank you ladies for joining us this afternoon. Well, first of all, tell me Suzanne, what is MER and what's it about? Well, our primary purpose is to respond to any marine mammal or sea turtle that strands throughout Delaware. And those include whales, dolphins, porpoises, seals, even manatees and mm -hmm. sea turtles. Wow, now you recently had a sea turtle release. Tell us about that. We did, that was very exciting because it wasn't just a sea turtle release, it was from the first documented sea turtle nest in Delaware. Prior to this time, there were no known nesting sites in Delaware. We're considered a little too far north for that. So we went to great effort to protect the eggs. Uh, we actually ended up incubating them and finally we were rewarded after 109 days. We ended up with eight successful hatchlings that were later released yeah. in North Carolina. So and we can see some pictures yeah. from when you released them. You say you had to release them into the Gulf Stream. We did. By the time they hatched, it was December. Mm. And the, the water temperatures were much too cold for these little hatchlings to survive. So we transported them ourselves out to the Gulf Stream. And the Gulf Stream is much closer to shore in North Carolina at that time of the year. Yeah. Now, we were talking about dolphins spotted um, off the coast of Delmarva. Mm -hmm. And one of your uh, events, most popular events, is the dolphin count. Yes, and that happens every third Saturday of July, so this year it will be July 21st, and we usually end up with over 100 volunteers stationed at specific locations along the Delaware coast, and they count dolphins for two hours, wow. so it's a great way to spend a morning. Yeah, it sounds mm -hmm. like it. Now, um, my, many of your programs focus on teaching kids. Yes. You have education programs mm -hmm. for kids. Tell me about those. Well, that's a huge part of our mission because we feel that's the most important key to conservation and we take our programs to schools, to scout groups. We teach even the youngest children preschool through adult and we have a large life-size inflatable whale that we use with the youngest children, a 65-foot whale that they can walk inside. So wow. it really makes a great impression and they have fun. And real hands-on. Very much, yeah. yes. Now, Claudia, you have been volunteering with Murray, you're the longest serving volunteer. Tell me about that. Why do you volunteer? Um, I find it very rewarding. There's many opportunities for um, volunteers, including um, well, the dolphin count. We also do the public outreach, um, monitoring seals on the beach, which, which is a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, also the live strandings, um, and helping with knee prophecies, where we learn why an animal or why one of the marine mammals or sea turtles have died. Mm -hmm. But um, I just love vol volunteering. It's a great organization and. It's just very, very rewarding to be able to give back. Yeah, so if somebody wants to volunteer, what should they do? Um, they would either well, contact Suzanne. Their own, she, you could go onto the website and contact Suzanne through that, and then there's a, a class. Mm -hmm. and, and we will have that on Delmarva Life, more information on that. Yes, You're always will. looking for volunteers. We are, volunteers are the backbone of our organization and we really couldn't do, our program has grown so much in the 12 years that we've existed. We've responded to over 1,200 animals in that time. Wow. And volunteers are a big part of that and certainly I couldn't do what I do without Claudia. So. Yeah. They're much needed and appreciated. All right, well thank you so much Suzanne and mm -hmm. Claudia for joining us this afternoon. And if you would like to find more information on MER and all of its programs, you know what to do. Go to delmarvalife.com and click on the show tab. Well still to come on Delmarva Life, great food with a picture perfect view. What more could you ask for? When we come back, our very own Brian Spiros takes us to a popular restaurant in Ocean City. Delmarva Life, life at its best here on Delmarva.